Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the summer meals from Freshly. Basically, Freshly had noticed some of my prior videos and they decided to send me some of the new summer recipes so I could show them to you guys and try them out for myself. So that is what I am here to do and that is, so that is what I'm going to be doing in today's video. Um, as always, I'm just gonna share my own thoughts. If I like certain ones or I don't like them, I will share that with you guys and let's get into the box. Okay, so this is how the box comes. Okay, so let's show you guys what's in the box for this week. So we have this low country boil. Here is the nutrition facts for this. I love that the calories are pretty low. Um, I think the sodium is a little bit high. I do wish that they would cut down on that, but I think overall this looks pretty good. Okay, next we have this veggie pesto risotto. And here is the nutrition facts on this. Next, we have the chicken tikka masala. Here's the nutrition on that. Okay, we have the wild caught mahi. And this one is actually really low calorie. This one's only 280. To me, this would be more of like a snack, to be honest, but I'm excited to try this one out because um, I love cauliflower and I love mahi mahi. So I'm excited to try this one. So now we have the super pesto and veggie fusilli. And then here we go with the nutrition on this one. And then we have the sausage version of that pesto. So I like that they're having a lot of pesto dishes. I love pesto. And then here is nutrition. So I think all of these were under 600 calories, which I really like. My only complaint, as I've said, is the sodium levels, but, but overall, I think the portion size is really good. So next up, I'm going to, as I cook these, kind of show you what they look like. And also before I forget, I do have an affiliate link that will give you some money off freshly. I do get some money as well if you do that, but you know, no pressure as always. If you wanna use it, use it. If you don't, don't. But I would appreciate you using it if you wanna help me out and you found this video helpful to making a decision if you want to go with freshly or not. Okay, first we have our wild caught mahi. This is what it looks like on the plate here. Um, I have to say this is quite a large amount of food for only 280 calories. So that's pretty cool. Let's try it out. Okay, so far I'm really liking this one. Um, I think the fish tastes good. The vegetables are nice and not overcooked and there's a lot of flavors. So this is a good first option. Uh, I will update you when I have my next meal ready. Okay, next we have the veggie pesto risotto. Here's what it looks like. Let's try this one. This one is actually really good. I think this one is worth the extra calories for the risotto. It's super creamy and flavorful. Um, I love the summer corn and like peppers I think are in there. This one is really good. So this one I'm going to rank above the mahi. Okay, next we have the chicken tikka masala. And here is what it looks like. This one, I feel like is one of their just kind of classic recipes. I don't know if this is actually a summer dish, but they sent it to me. So let's try it out. This one I think I may have had before, but. Mm. This one is quite good. Um, I do like this one a lot. I would say maybe not quite as good as the risotto, um, but I think I would put it probably above the mahi. So this one is gonna be second on my list. Okay, next we have the super pesto and veggie fusilli. And here is what it looks like. This one is really good. I would say, I don't know, it's really hard to decide between this one and the pesto risotto. Um, I think I might still say the pesto risotto is my number one right now, but I would say that this one is number two. 
And next we have this Low Country Boil, which is actually one that I've had before and I've always really liked. This is what it looks like. I feel like this is the perfect summer recipe with uh, you know, the corn and then you have some shrimp in there. This one is really good, but I'm going to try this one again and just kind of remind myself of how this ranks against the other ones. Okay, so this one, I don't know, I, th I think it's good, but the other ones that I just had, especially the pesto dishes, as well as the chicken um, tikka masala, I think are better, in my opinion, but it's, it's so much a personal preference, but personally, I would say this is probably closer to how I would rank the mahi, um, so I'm probably going to put this one above the mahi, but below the other pesto dishes so at this point the low country boil is number five on my list but still i think definitely worth trying okay and now our final freshly meal for this week is the super pesto and sausage fusilli i believe this is the same one as the super pesto and veggie fusilli except it has sausage instead of the extra veggies and Here's what it looks like. I feel like the lighting is getting a little weird this time of day, but um, basically it looks the same, except instead of mushrooms, you have the sausage here. So I'm gonna try it and then I will let you know what I think. Okay, so this one I really like. Um, again, as I said, I did really like that original pesto with the veggies. However, I'm gonna say I actually like the, the veggie version better than this, just because I thought the mushrooms in that were really good. And I am trying to cut down on how much meat I'm eating um, for my dinners. So I think that I would personally recommend the veggie over the sausage version, but I think I would still put this at a close second right after that one. Guys, so I just wanna follow up and talk about the recipes that I liked most and least from this week's batch of freshly meals. So the top three are all the pesto dishes. I really loved all of them. And then number four, I really liked the chicken tikka masala. And number five was the low country boil. I thought that was really good but not quite as good as those top options and then number six was the mahi so but again the mahi was like half the calories of the other ones it's kind of hard to compete with the other ones in terms of taste when the other ones are like 500 calorie range but i think if you are looking to cut calories and get a really healthy option that mahi is definitely still a really great option. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, again, I have a referral code in the description box, which will save you some money on Freshly. I will put all of the details of that in the description. And again, thank you to Freshly for sending these meals to me. I enjoyed trying them. Um, some of them I tried before, so it was great to kind of try those again. And some of them were my first time having them. So a really great variety for this week. So that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.